Hello everyone, welcome to the first edition of the Bassett Report. My name is Bryce Johnson, I'm the principal here at Bassett Elementary School. And I'm gonna start with talking about the beginning of the school year, we had a great start. We welcomed in approximately 60 students from Tarrant Elementary School and just about 475 total students to Bassett during the first quarter. I have a few introductions, a few employees I wanna talk about that are new here to Panda Land. We have Ms. Jones, who uh, comes to us from the University of Virginia. She's taught first grade prior to this year, is actually joining our kindergarten ranks here at Bassett. We also have Ms. Ross, who is one of our first grade teachers. She uh, came from Tarrant Elementary School and is teaching first grade here. We also are excited to have Ms. Taylor. She's kind of returning back home. She taught uh, prior to this year uh, at Bassett, but is coming back to teach fifth grade this year. And then we have Miss Stout, who is new to the elementary ranks. She has some middle school experience and is teaching fifth grade here during the 15-16 school year. And then Miss Peters, who is our math interventionist. So she is partnering with Mr. Foster um, to provide some great math instruction. And then we have Miss Tuthill, who works as one of our uh, Title I reading specialists. Uh, and then Miss Buchanan, who is our teacher librarian. She uh, also comes from Tarrant Elementary School this year. Ms. Green Stevenson brings a wealth of knowledge at the assistant principal position. Uh, she has some experience as an AP at Machen Elementary School. And then Ms. Holden, our amazing administrative specialist who brings that wow customer service to the main office as you enter the building. And then finally, Mr. Ricky, who assists with our custodial duties uh, throughout the building. So we're excited to start this school year. We believe in three core concepts of higher expectations for everyone, what I call wow customer service when you come into the building, and building positive relationships with everyone. Next, let's take a look at our action team. We uh, meet monthly with a group of parents, community members, and f staff to look at concerns around the building and then provide suggestions for improvement. And so in our last action team meeting, we talked about an upcoming family empowerment conference um, that is actually scheduled in March uh, for the 15-16 school year. It started to look at some of the vendors and different community uh, partners that will be a part of that um, fantastic event. So we are excited to be presenting that again this year and provide resources for our families. Um, another thing the action team is looking at is actually creating the GED program um, and partnering with um, that program here at Bassett to provide that opportunity for our families um, here to actually go forward and get their GED if they haven't gotten to that point in their educational process. So we're excited to see that process uh, and that event taking place uh, here at Bassett. Another piece um, another event that took place was the Back to School Night. Uh, this was a fantastic family fun event where many kids uh, and parents came to learn uh, more about math and language arts strategies that they can take into their house and uh, explore with their children and, and kind of continuing the edu continue the education process outside of school. And so a lot of our teachers were on hand to provide these workshops for our, our uh, parents and, and, and students got um, plenty of cool strategies to take home and like I said to continue that learning process which is crucial to be successful here uh, in school. And so we look forward to that partnership continuing. Another great event we had was the Around the World Night. This was a special occasion to kick off the school year. I like to think of it as a meet and greet, meet and greet event where families get to come in a non-threatening environment and just see what happens here at Bassett. And so the cool theme is, is around the world and so the students get to explore different countries in the pods. Um, and we had several countries, some from Germany, Mali. Uh, we had of course the United States. Uh, we have Canada um, and a whole host of different uh, areas for the students to get their passports checked as they went around and explored uh, different information about the, the dress of the country, the, um, the, the currency of the country, the amount of money that you can make uh, per day, as well as some of the toys and foods that uh, are eaten in the particular areas. And so great chance to meet and greet as well as uh, learn a little bit about our culture and around the world. Um, and so we are excited again to, this is the second time we've done that event and we hope to continue to grow. It's nice that the feedback that we get on this event is mainly that it's too short. 
Uh, we want to see the event actually lo last longer is what most families say. So we're looking to continue that um, great community um, experience um, and just grow um, more countries as we go further along and look forward to that for the 16-17 school year. So it's always great to see what happens here at Bassett and I thought it'd be cool to give you a sneak peek of some of the cool things happening behind the scenes. And so we're going to take a look at two classrooms. We'll start off with the first look at Miss Dancy Hayes' class. This great environment that Miss Dancy Hayes has created, uh, they're working on some science work. They were taking thermometers and they were measuring the temperature of different uh, things throughout the class. And so I thought it'd be cool for you to get a sneak peek of that. Let's take a look. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. This is, my name is Monica Dancy Hayes, and this is my class, fourth grade class, and we're out here today to take the temperature of the weather. We are going to place our thermometers out. It's early in the morning. We're gonna put them out, and we're gonna check them again in the afternoon to see how the temperature has changed, how the mercury has risen on each thermometer. Raise your hand if you could tell me what we got yesterday when we were out here. What was the temperature when we came out to check it? Kendra? 80, 80 degrees yesterday when we came out to check the temperature on our thermometers. And we have constructed a graph to show how it's going to change each day. Um, who can tell me what we call an independent variable? What is an independent variable? Jeremiah? Something that doesn't change. It's something on our graph that doesn't change. Very good. And what's not going to change on our graph are the days of the week. Because we're going to come out here each day, check our thermometers, and see what the temperature is. But our dependent variable, that's something that is going to change. And who can tell me what our dependent variable is? Corey. The temperature. It's the temperature. Each day we expect it to be different, something different, and we will graph that as a bar graph on our notes. So class, you're going to take your thermometers and you're going to place them anywhere you think is the best place for your thermometer. Don't forget where yours is. Okay. It's squishy. That's it's a mushroom. That's, that's, that's all. Yeah, that's I think that's squishy. I think this is squishy. Well, I buried my under all this mulch, and now probably when I come back, still Yo. probably gonna be warm, or it's just gonna be cold. So. <laughs> what is your last meal? It's mine. right here. I buried um, mine too, and I dig mine in the dirt. <laughs> is at about 81. All right, everyone should have their science notebook open to your weather graph. And if you don't, you should have it open to that now. Yes. Okay, now that it is about one o'clock, We've gone outside and we check to see if the temperature has changed from this morning and see if it's changed from yesterday. Raise your hand quietly if you can tell me what is the temperature outside for today. Mm, Lamari. 81. 81 degrees. Very good. So, as we said before, our independent variable that remains the same, it's Tuesday. Our dependent variable has changed and it's 80 degrees now, 81 degrees, I'm sorry, versus 80 from yesterday. So when you draw your next bar, you're going to go slightly higher than what you drew yesterday since it's 81 degrees today instead of 80. So you can go ahead and do that now. You say yes. And you can go ahead and fill it in, color it in. Definitely. Color it in. Or any color, please.
And while you guys are working on this, raise your hand quietly if you think you can make a prediction. 82. You think it will be higher than it was today? Yes. All right. So who can tell me why they think Anya said that she thinks that the temperature will be 82 tomorrow? Um, Alea. Because temperature changes. The temperature changes. And what has it been doing this week? Going up. It's been rising, right. So if we're going to stay along that trend, it could be sunnier tomorrow, which would also make the temperature rise. Because even though it's been 80 at 80 degrees yesterday, 81 degrees today, it was pretty cloudy outside, right? So the weather that I watched, the weather channel that I watched this morning said that the sun would be out tomorrow. Therefore, the temperature could be a lot higher, warmer, which would make the temperature rise. So, Anya could be correct. We could get higher temperatures. All right, that's our prediction. Raise your hand if you agree with that. Raise your hand if you think it'll be cooler tomorrow. A couple of people think it'll be cooler tomorrow. All right, well, we will see tomorrow who is correct and who isn't. So once you finish this, you may put it away. Wow, wasn't that great? We might even have a few future meteorologists out of that class. Thanks, Miss Dancy Hayes, for that snapshot. Next, we have Miss Henry, a great third grade teacher here at Bassett, and she's going to be uh, working with some graphs. So let's see if we can take a quick look at what's going on in Miss Henry's class. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. The students in third grade have been learning about graphing, how data is collected, organized, and analyzed in the real world. For the first part of the assignment, the students were required to come up with a survey question and four answer choices, which they were put into a tally chart. For the second part of the assignment, the students are required to take the data and transfer it into a picture graph in a bar graph. For the third part of the assignment, the students will make two observations about their data. What is your favorite sport? Football, soccer, baseball, or basketball? What is your favorite sport? Football. Soccer. Baseball. Your favorite superhero, Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, Human Torch. Who's your favorite superhero? Batman. Superman. 
super even. Green Lantern. soda? Orange Fanta, Pepsi, Sprite, Coca-Cola. What is your favorite soda? Orange Fanta. What is your favorite animal? Panda, tiger, lion, leopard. Panda. Tiger. Lion. Leopard. What is your favorite pet? Cat, dog, bird, or bunny? What is your favorite pet? Cat. Dog. Bird. Bunny. What is your favorite superhero? Hulk, Iron Man, Spider-Man, War Machine. What is your favorite superhero? Hulk. Iron Man. Spider-Man. War Machine. What is your favorite part of Pokemon? Venikin, Torchic, Snivy, Chespin. What is your favorite partner Pokemon? Venikin. Torchic. Snivy. What is your favorite candy? Twix, Starbucks, Skittles, Reese's. What is your favorite candy? Twix. Starbucks. Skittles. Reese's.
Don't forget your observations in a sentence. Third graders write sentences. Rock stars. Yes. I would like a few volunteers to come up and tell us what you analyzed and what you observed about your data. Okay? Okay. Yes. My observations are: ten, most people pick football, least people pick baseball. My observations are leopard and tiger have the same number of votes. Panda has the most votes. I observed that cat has the most votes. I observed that turtle has the least votes. My observations Reese's almost has the same as Twix. The one with the least is Starbucks. My observation is Fanta and Pepsi are the same. Pepsi is more than Sprite. My observations are Hulk has the most votes. Iron Man has the least votes. My observations are that Bunny and Bird had the same amount in the least. Dog was loved the most. We, we are experts at graphing! Wow, look at those mathematicians. Great job, Miss Henry students. Looking forward to seeing many more of those types of experiences in your class. Well, this wraps up our first edition of the Bassett Report. We're excited you could join us. Tune in next time for some more greatness that's happening right here at Bassett Elementary School, home of the pandas. We hope you enjoyed this quick snapshot. And again, look forward to seeing you next time on the next edition of the Bassett Report.